Is there any other NBA player held to such a high degree of scrutiny and slander as in B? The Jokic MVP stuff really created a monster slash king troll. I mean, go back to the LeBron discourse. It was way uglier than anything Embiid's faced. And LeBron was more accomplished at that stage of his career. And it was way uglier than anything Embiid is. Like, it, yes, I think almost any star athlete, anyone who is at the top of the league, especially when they haven't, uh, won a championship is going to get a lot of scrutiny. And then you add in the fact that he is a little bit of a troll at times and it's going to be ramped up a little bit. And then you add um, some more unsavory reasons people don't like him, which we don't necessarily need to get into, but are definitely there. And then, yeah, there is uh, a lot of scrutiny, but I certainly wouldn't say it's completely unique. And the example I would bring up is LeBron. Yeah. And so I would say this, and it was a thought I had listening to you guys throughout the show. It's like, I think the way the internet works now, is you you basically just get filed into is this guy so praising this person or is this guy criticizing this person and people try to categorize you in these really large groups where there's like a huge spectrum of people within that like we're not people listen to us every day right they know we're not on this show saying boy joel's such a fat loser like that kind of stuff and that's the stuff that there, it goes way too far, and there is a level of negativity and animosity for him that, frankly, we will never participate in and is just for reasons that, as Derek said, some of them are insidious and ugly. Some of them are just based on the basic fandom tribalism stuff, which, whatever, you're never going to stop people who root for Jokic and the Nuggets from, from yelling about Joel Embiid, or to, just as one example. But we can still have honest discussions about, like, look, we watch this guy year in, year out. We deal with him every day. We see what kind of shape he's in, whether his conditioning is where it needs to be, his game level or his game readiness level coming off of these long layoffs. Like, we can be honest about that. And that I, I can, Joel knows I, I'm very public. We're all very public about what we say. So when I criticize him or I say, hey, I wish he'd do this, like, I walk in there every day and I still talk to him and I, these are not, not things I would hide from him. And that's, that's why we, we do this, right? It's why I think we have at least a level of credibility to be like, Hey, what we saw last night on that team USA floor was kind of bogus without saying, Oh, he should be kicked off the team or they need to trade him. Like we don't, it's doesn't always have to be extreme. We can acknowledge that it wasn't good. We can acknowledge that other guys looked better and we can still sit here and say all of us believe Joel is an incredible basketball player who by the time the Olympics have come and gone will have left a mark on this team in a positive way. I think that's still the broader expectation from all of us. 